This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Spark plugs replacement. While you are waiting for the engine to cool, check the new plugs for defects and adjust the gaps if necessary. The gap is checked by inserting the proper thickness gauge between the electrodes at the tip of the plug. Spark plug manufacturers recommend using a wire type gauge when checking the gap. The gauge should just slide between the electrodes with a slight amount of drag. If the gap is incorrect, Use the adjuster on the gauge body to bend the curved side electrode slightly until the proper gap is obtained. If the side electrode is not exactly over the center electrode, bend it with the adjuster until it is. Also check for cracks in the porcelain insulator. If any are found, the plug should not be used. Pull the hood release lever located on the driver's side kick panel. Slide the hood safety latch and raise the hood upwards. Support the hood with the prop rod. Loosen the air inlet tube hose clamp, then disconnect the inlet tube from the filter housing cover. Unlatch the filter cover retaining clips then remove the cover and pull the filter out of the housing. Loosen the cable nut from the battery negative terminal, then disconnect the negative battery cable. Secure the cable aside to prevent accidental reconnection. It will be necessary to remove the upper intake manifold for access to the spark plugs. Loosen the intake tube hose clamp at the throttle body Disconnect the intake air temperature sensor connector. Undo the filter cover clips, then disconnect the intake tube and remove the filter cover assembly. Unclip and remove the cable guard. Unplug the electrical connectors from the idle air control motor, the throttle position sensor, and the manifold absolute pressure sensor. Also, disconnect the various vacuum hoses from the throttle body and intake manifold, labeling them as necessary. Detach the accelerator cable and, if equipped, the cruise control cable from the throttle lever arm. Remove the throttle body support bracket bolts. Remove the upper intake manifold fasteners. Remove the upper intake manifold. To prevent dirt or other foreign debris from entering the engine, Plug the openings in the lower intake manifold with rags. Using a twisting motion, detach the spark plug boots wires from the spark plugs. Pull only on the boot at the end of the wire. Don't pull on the wire. Make sure to keep track of the wire's correct plug locations. If compressed air is available, Use it to blow any dirt or foreign material away from the spark plug area. Wear eye protection when doing this. The idea here is to eliminate the possibility of material falling into the cylinder through the spark plug holes as the plugs are removed. Place the spark plug socket over the plug and remove them from the engine by turning in a counterclockwise direction. Apply an anti-seize compound to the threads of the new plugs to facilitate future removal. 
Thread the new plugs into the holes until they can no longer be turned with your fingers. It's a good idea to slip a short length of rubber hose over the end of the plug to use as a tool to thread it into place, particularly if the cylinder head is made of aluminum. The hose will grip the plug well enough to turn it, but will start to slip if the plug begins to cross thread in the hole. This will prevent damaged threads and the accompanying repair costs. Tighten the spark plugs to the specified torque setting. Attach the plug wires to the new spark plugs, again using a twisting motion on the boots until they are firmly seated on the ends of the plugs. Be sure not to mix up the plug wires. Check the condition of the manifold seals and replace them if they are damaged or hardened. Install the upper intake manifold and tighten the intake manifold fasteners gradually and evenly in the indicated sequence to the specified torque setting. Install the throttle body bracket bolts, then tighten them securely. Connect the PCV hose, then attach the accelerator and cruise control cables. Connect all other hoses and electrical connectors for the intake manifold and throttle body to the noted locations. Install the cable guard. Install the air filter and filter cover. Secure the cover with the spring clips, connect the electrical connector to the intake tube, then tighten the hose clamp at the throttle body securely. Connect the negative cable to the negative terminal on the battery. Tighten the cable nut securely. Install the air filter into the housing. Install the filter housing cover. Secure the cover with the retaining clips. Connect the air inlet hose to the cover and tighten the hose clamp securely.